Hello everyone, welcome to Come Sit at My Table. We are Tom and Melissa, and we're really happy that you're joining us for our video today. We're going to make a very simple side dish today. We're making old-fashioned potato cakes. Now, when I was growing up, we ate potatoes almost at every meal, it seemed. We ate fried potatoes at breakfast, and sometimes at dinner we had mashed potatoes, boiled potatoes, we had potatoes fixed with roast in a pressure cooker, and I didn't realize at the time, but now looking back, I think that was because of two things. Number one, we always had a garden, and so we raised potatoes, which we ate on all year, but if we had to buy potatoes, they were very cheap. So it was something affordable that my mom and dad could put on the table that would fill us up. And so we ate lots of potatoes. Now when you have mashed potatoes for a meal, most of the time you'll have some leftover mashed potatoes. Melissa likes to joke with me because I don't know how to judge the right amount of mashed potatoes when we're going to eat a meal. I just can't get it right. I always fix way too many mashed potatoes, whether it's just the two of us or if there's 12 of us here for Thanksgiving. I just can't get it to come out right. I always have leftovers. Well, the good thing about that is we can make potato cakes. Potato cakes go back for as far as I know, my grandmother made potato cakes when I was a little boy and now I'm 60, almost 62 years old. So potato cakes have been around a long time and they're not hard or complicated. They have very few ingredients. So it's very quick to do and it's easy to do because you should have everything on hand. Literally the way to make old fashioned potato cakes is just to use leftover mashed potatoes and you want them to be about at room temperature. And I've got two cups here. You want an egg. Now you can put two eggs if you want two eggs in it, but one is probably enough. That's one of your binders to hold it together. And you want all purpose flour. I shouldn't have said all purpose. You can use self rising, but all purpose is what I always grab, so I'm using all purpose today. Our proportions are two cups of mashed potatoes, one egg, three tablespoons of flour, and that's it. So I'm going to get my heat started and I'm going to put it on medium. We're going to add our egg into our mashed potatoes. Let me get a paper towel, wipe the egg off my fingers. We need three tablespoons of flour. There's one, two, three. You don't you need a huge amount of flour. You just want enough to bind your potatoes together while they fry, hold them together in a cake form. Um, but if you use too much, you're going to get that flour taste and you really don't want that. And now all we do is stir it up. Now my mashed potatoes are at room temperature. Now you might wonder, what about salt and pepper? Don't you wanna season them? Well, I would if I hadn't already done that. But when I made mashed potatoes two or three days ago, I seasoned my mashed potatoes. I put salt and pepper and butter in them then. So I don't really need to do that again. You don't want to over salt them, over pepper them. So they've already got enough from when I made mashed potatoes the other day. If you are just making potato cakes and you didn't make it as mashed potatoes for a side dish, you certainly would need to put some salt and pepper in them. But if you are literally using leftover mashed potatoes like we're doing here, you should already have that salt and pepper in there and you should not need to add more. I'll put a link to your mashed potato recipe at the description box. 
okay. for this today. So if you'll go right below our video, there's a description box. It has the title of the video. If you click in that box, that box will expand. Melissa always puts the recipe, the written recipe for each of our videos in that description box right under the video. So the recipe will be there, but she's also going to put a link to the video that we did a few days ago for my mashed potatoes. Okay, now, how do you make potato cakes? Well, you want to make them look kind of like pancakes. Now, some people like theirs flat. They will scoop some out, put it in a skillet, and mash them down until they're that thick. Other people make them really thick. I kind of like mine in the middle. I like a thick potato cake, but I don't want it so thick that the middle doesn't get warm and get done all the way through. So that's all you do. And you put it in some hot oil, just like that and you let it start to fry. Let me do another one. Yeah, they're a little sticky. If you don't want them to be sticky on your hands, all you have to do is flour your hands before you pick them up, or you can put some water on your hands. But honestly, it doesn't bother me for them to stick to me a little bit. So, that's what you do right there. Now. I'm going to get the rest of our potatoes made into potato cakes and get them started frying. When they're finished, we will come right back and let you see what they look like and we'll even sample one for you. Our potato cakes are out of the skillet. They are crunchy on the outside, but on, in the center they are really soft and moist, just like mashed potatoes. Don't they look good? They do. So That's let's good. try a bite. Mm. That takes me back to my childhood. That's the way my mom fixed them. If you want to add onion, cheese, garlic powder, whatever you want to add, make them your own. I just wanted to show you the easy way to make potato cakes today. Very quick, very simple, and delicious. We really appreciate you watching our video. If you would, please go right below the video and click the thumbs up. If you've not already, please go below the video on this side and click the subscribe button and the little notification bell. And of course, we would appreciate it if you'd click the share button and share our video to your social media so that your friends and family will know about our channel. Remember that right below the video, there's a description box. If you'll click in that description box somewhere, it will expand the box and Melissa will put the written recipe for potato cakes. She'll also put a link to our video on how I make mashed potatoes. So if you wanna check out that video, you can click that link in the description box below this video. Remember, you are always welcome to come sit at my table. Have a great day.